Oh yeah. Oh, I'll I do. forgot to tell you. I'll do it first. Hola, hola! Hello, friends! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello! My name is Kim. I am an author illustrator, and here on my channel, I love to make videos about books, about a cozy lifestyle, and about writing. Today, friends, I bring you my first author vlog ish type of video. This is the first vlog that I'm making here on my channel that is dedicated to just author things. If you by any chance don't know, I am the author of, let me get it. <laughs> this is uh, the book that I wrote. This is Incantations Embodied, Rituals for Empowerment, Reclamation and Resistance. Oh my gosh, my hair, you guys. What is happening? What is happening? This is coming out on May 21st. It is currently May 7th today. I am so excited. This is being published by Spiritbound Press. It is an indie publisher and you can pre-order this wherever books are sold. And I have a whole bunch of incentive goodies that you can, for free, that you can get and claim when you pre-order my book. And that's only for pre-orders. So I'll leave all that information down below. So friends, as some of you may know, I wrote and illustrated the cover and the interior images of my my book. It is my first book out there. It is my first, it is my debut book. If you want to know a little bit more about my book, I did do a whole video titled I Wrote a Book and there I go into what my book is about and a little bit of a backstory of how I got published. If you want to learn more about that whole process, then feel free to check that video out. I will link it down below for you guys. So like I mentioned, this is my debut book. So this is my first time doing all of the author things and prepping for release day. I am a bit overwhelmed. I am nervous. I am extremely excited. I am feeling all the feelings right now. My mind, my, my headspace is feeling all over the place. So today, or the goal for this video, is to take you guys along a little bit on the behind the scenes that goes on when you are prepping for a book release. <laughs> like I mentioned, this is my first time doing any of this, but I have a wonderful publisher who has been very supportive and sort of guiding me into what this entire process is like. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of marketing stuff, a lot of just prepping marketing materials, prepping social media content. Social media is huge when it comes to pre-orders and when it comes to marketing your book so I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff like that so yeah this video is just supposed to be a chill relaxed video of just doing behind the scenes author stuff I don't know for how many days I'm going to be doing this vlog for but let's just say today's day one today I do want to work on a couple of things I need to respond to some emails regarding my audiobook I am going to be traveling to I live in the Bay Area by the way you guys so I'm going to be traveling to San Francisco unfortunately it's gonna to be towards the end of the month my book comes out on May 21st and I believe the studio booked me for three days but it's after my book releases which is fine so that's probably going to be its own separate video but I need to reply to them I also need to reply to my publisher they send me an email I seen this morning that they send me an email full of information for like potential lives that I'm going to be doing over on Instagram with influencers folks who are within the wellness industry because my book is wellness it is about wellness <laughs> i mean it's a lot more than that okay so watch my video titled i wrote a book because there i go in depth about everything that my book is about so besides answering emails i do want to work on some social media content so that means recording some videos for like reels and shorts i do want to prep some posts for social media little marketing stuff that promotes my book. I do want to be very intentional as well because there are some 
very major things happening in the world right now that are very devastating and I don't want to take away from that importance so I always like to be very intentional when I am sharing stuff about my book and just be wary about you know folks who are on the front lines fighting for these very big important causes those are very important things for me and so I just like to thread very carefully in um, those spaces it is very hard it is very hard being on social media right now and there's nothing nice about it and that's because that's the truth that's what's happening right now but I am having a hard time and it just so happens to be and this is not an inconvenience or am I complaining by the way you guys I'm just trying to share how I'm trying to balance you know my book coming out and sharing information about my book while there's also something horrible happening in another part of our world so i'm learning to navigate that space and also not take away from from what's happening so that is that friends i'm gonna do some um emails i'm gonna be shooting some reels i have a couple of ideas for particular reels that i want to film it is grind time you guys for the rest of the month even after my book comes out just this entire month in general i need to do a lot of book marketing a lot a lot of book marketing and as someone who often struggles with just just showing up on social media lately uh, I get the jitters I'm just learning to also navigate this space and just putting my work out there it does not come easy to me to just sort of push my book out there and be like hey buy my book buy my book but that's just kind of how it is when you're an author and you wrote a book you need to also market your book your publisher is gonna help you so much but also it is up to the author to market their book but yeah I'm gonna take you guys along and just get my day started. So let's go. just heard back from my publisher about some things that we're going to be doing with IG lives so I'm going to be doing for I think a whole week I'm going to be doing IG lives to promote my book and I think that's going to start next week so I'm currently in the week of the 7th so the following week after this one Toby where are you going he's probably gonna get in the middle because he likes being right here in the middle so the week of the next week after the one I'm on, I'm going to start doing Instagram lives with other folks to talk about my book. And that makes me very nervous. I love talking to people, but I get really bad social anxiety, especially if I know it's being recorded. Something about just knowing, Toby, what are you trying to do? something about just knowing that I'm being recorded is just always on my mind and that just makes me so nervous like my stomach is already hurting out of just being nervous because of that but I need to I need to learn to talk about my book because ugh, that's the only thing that I just get nervous about is like I I'm very passionate about storytelling but when it comes to marketing and speaking about my book I feel like during those moments I completely like lose track about what the heck my book is even about because I'm super focused on the current conversation being recorded or me speaking to someone and having to I sort of feel like I have to validate what I wrote <laughs> And not that the other person might be making me feel like I have to validate it, but just, I don't know, in my head, there's just a lot going on. So yes, to be very honest, I'm very nervous about that. Um, but I mean, hopefully, I I'm pretty sure I'm going to be talking to some amazing people about my book. Also, I just got news 
from the audio my audio book so like i mentioned i'm going to be recording towards the end of the month of may so after my book comes out and my sister wanted to go with me to my um recording i'm gonna be recording three days and she asked if she can come with me for one of those days it would just be awesome to have her there so i asked the audio folks if i can bring a guest one of those days and they said yes so that's gonna be awesome. Another update for you guys is that I thought I was going to be signing books the day of my book release or like doing like a live signing somewhere the day of my book release or before. But my publisher just let me know that unfortunately books are not gonna be getting here on time to whatever bookstore they were gonna be sending them to locally. So unfortunately I'm not going to be doing a book signing when my book comes out oh this lighting is horrible sorry about that but most likely i'm going to be doing it maybe like a week or two weeks after my book comes out i'm going to be doing a live signing here locally i don't know where but she just asked if i was available the week of june 10th for a potential book signing look at doby he's so funny so yeah i'm going to be doing that the only thing is that my birthday is on june 9th and i want to be out celebrating so i told her any time after june 10th would be great probably just not june 10th that particular day and this has nothing to do with author stuff but i am taking care of a dog today he is going to be getting here around 10 30 or 11 it is currently 10.05. by the way you guys i take care of dogs on my spare time well I don't really have spare time but i just take care of them i love dogs so much that i do it as a little side hustle because it's tough out here sometimes <laughs> and having a little bit of extra cash on me really helps so i'm going to be taking care of a small little dog for the next two days i'm excited he's small sort of like doby size i've already taken care of two other pets and they were both very large which are fine they were wonderful so this is the first time i'm going to be taking care of a smaller sized dog so that's exciting he's gonna get here soon so hopefully i can still get some work done i feel like i can those are all the updates my husband made me a little egg breakfast bowl so i'm gonna go eat that and then get back to work everyone say hi to dim sum hi dim sum hi buddy doby be nice he's a little shy dim sum doby it's okay, Dim Sum. He's just very excited. Hi, Dim Sum. Hi, buddy. It's okay. Taking care of dogs is very serious business, you guys. Oh, he's already on top. In our household, we have two dogs. I have my dog, and then my sister has her Dalmatian, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen in previous vlogs. So since taking care of dogs, is just trying to make them feel comfortable with the other dogs because they're both nice. The dogs that live in my household, my dog and the Dalmatian, whose name is Spooky, very nice, but they tend to have a lot of energy. And this one here, he's very shy. So I've been bribing him with snacks so he can get comfortable with the dogs. <laughs> Hi, dim sum. Hi, buddy. Are we gonna have a good time here, sir? Are we gonna have a good time here, sir? His owners told me he has severe anxiety and I feel so bad. He's a COVID dog, so is mine. I got Dovey when COVID first started and usually COVID dogs are very clingy. So let's pray for dim sum you guys. He's here with us for two nights. I'm sure he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be fine. <laughs>
All right, friends, so I have, since I last update, updated you guys, I've made a little list of stuff that I want to focus on and do for marketing my book. As far as bookmarking ideas, this is what I have planned. So I do want to make some time to make a couple of graphs. I want to make some infographics about my book. I have a few idea samples that I'll post here. So that's kind of what I'm going for as far as just infographs to market my book. I do also want to get three to five more quotes from my book to make cute little posts and illustrations with them. So I've already made some like this. I'll post them here. So I want to make more like these because I find that I find that grabbing quotes from my book really just kind of just it, it tells people what my book is about and I just love sharing quotes in general and poems. I already have a list that I had previously gathered of quotes that I want to share that are from my book but I do also want to sort of go through my personal book and skim it and highlight a whole bunch of stuff from here just quotes and uh, illustrations and whatever else that I want to share over on social media. I do want to give myself some time to go over my book and just highlight stuff. So those are sort of like the graphs that I want to make. These are going to be posts, things that I'm going to be making to market my book. I forgot to put on here that I do want to make maybe like two reels a week. Reels? I have such a hard time with reels. It is very easy for me to just make a post, like an infograph post and just post it like a picture to my Instagram but when it comes to making reels shorts or whatever you want to call them uh, they're just a lot more time consuming and I sometimes have a hard time with them but I forgot to put on here that I do want to do at least maybe minimum of two reels a week so two minimum and these are going to be reels that are obviously related to the book I filmed one earlier today I still need to edit it and I don't know if you guys have seen those reels or shorts where it's just people it's like the same person but it's supposedly two different people having a conversation so i did one of those and i was just switching my sweater to make it seem like it was two different people and they're sort of just having a conversation and one of them is like oh cool so you wrote a book and then the other person was like yeah i did and then the other person was like cool what is it about and then the other person kind of goes blank and then they're just like at the end they're just like oh wellness but i'm just sort of poking fun at myself because i have social anxiety and so i'm gonna put little bubbles while that person's thinking when they're asked what the book is about about all the things that the book well that my book is about but then at the end i just say wellness the whole idea is that you know i have social anxiety and you want to say all of these things that the book is about but then at the end i just say wellness of course my book is about wellness but it's I feel like it's just so much more than that. I need to edit that tonight, sometime later today, and maybe post that either on Thursday and then work on another reel for this week and then I will meet my cap of two reels minimum a week. <laughs> Now the other thing that I do want to do is do a giveaway. I want to do a giveaway of two signed books and that's probably going to be posted over on Instagram. So I want to plan more of the details about what the giveaway will look like. But I do know that I want to give away two signed books with some other free goodies. Also another thing I want to do is open up my shop so i used to have a shop where i used to sell just art prints and stickers and stuff and i closed it down when i started writing my book because it was just very overwhelming so i do want to open my shop again but in particular just for my book i got a total of about 25 author copies so i do want to put maybe like a few of those up on my site for sale they're going to be signed and they're going to be a whole little packaged deal going on so i'm going to i'm thinking of including including my signed book and then I'm also going to include a bookmark that is related to my book and then two small prints five by sevens probably of illustrations that are colored in from my book and one large print eight by eleven also from the book that's colored in and then maybe some stickers I still don't know what the price is going to be I need to calculate how much I'm going to be spending on all these materials and then go from there so that's another thing I want to do kind of want to do some big 
big things because it is my debut book. It's my book baby, so I do want to do some special things. Yeah, I need to have all of that probably up by, I don't know, sometime next week. Now, as far as like the book boxes that I want to create, I already have two of the mini prints. Now I have to figure out which illustration from inside my book I want to illustrate in a large format by 8 by 11. I need to do that and I need to color it in so I can have that done and also design the bookmark. So I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. So let's go and get to work again, friends. <laughs> So I am so happy that it's done. On to whatever else I have to do. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It is the next day. It is currently, let's see, 8.46 in the morning. I woke up with the worst allergies this morning. I have just been suffering this entire spring season. You guys remember when I said, oh, I love spring so much, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, I forget that during spring season, I get really horrible allergies. Anyways, I'm struggling this morning. That's why I sound really stuffy. But yesterday I was able to finish my little infographic that I was working on. I really love how it came out. I'll pop a picture of it right here. What I did first was make a list of keywords or phrases that I feel really encompass what my book is about. And I sort of popped them around into the infographic. I had this particular inspo picture that I was using and I sort of just crafted my own. I've seen these particular infographics all around every time a new book comes out. And I feel like it's a quick, and fast way for folks to get to know what your book is about. I feel like people, especially in today's day and age where people want information really quickly, I feel like this is a good marketing way to just tell folks what your book is about. I feel like yesterday I was back and forth between just trying to concentrate in work and then also watching Dim Sum, the the little pet friend that is staying with us for another day which by the way he was kind of crying all night because i'm pretty sure he misses his mom and he has separation anxiety so it wasn't the best sleep for him but he's fine he's right here hanging out hi buddy <laughs> he's like okay get the camera off me lady <laughs> So what's on today's agenda? Today I want to work on pulling more quotes from my book. I did get started on that yesterday and I have a few tabs on here of potential book quotes that I'm going to be using to just make Instagram posts uh, or social media posts. So I want to pull more quotes out from here today and then turn at least two of those or three of them into illustrate them into an actual post. And then I also want to decide I need one more illustration from my book for me to color in because that's going to be one of the illustrations that I'm going to also be offering in this book box offering that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a whole little gift set. So I need one more of that because I already have two and I'm doing three of them. And here comes my husband with my coffee. Such a sweetheart. Thanks, honey. Oh, that's helping. I feel like that's going to help my throat. Something warm because all this sneezing and also I've been coughing a lot. That's going to help my throat. All right, friends. So let's get started on some author marketing stuff. <laughs> Hi, little shy boy. You're fine. You're fine. Your mama's going to be back tomorrow.
guys be nice to him? Be nice to dim sum. He's a little anxious boy. Spooky. <laughs> These two are, we call them the boys. We call them the boys because they're their own little clique. And every time a dog comes over that I'm sitting, they act like the boys. They're just a bunch of silly gooses. They don't actually do anything to anyone. They're just very playful. You guys, look at my nose. My allergies are so horrible right now. I didn't even used to have allergies. I feel like they just sort of came up like in the last maybe three or four years. And it's been really, really bad. In between doing work, I have been researching things that I can do, buy, get, because I already went to my doctor and I already have the nasal spray, I already have the eye drops. I'm gonna be trying some new stuff in the coming weeks because I can't be doing this every year. Like I haven't, I'm scared to go outside. And today's a very windy day where I'm living. I feel like the Polans are just flying everywhere. It's horrible, I am suffering. Don't mind my, my red nose, my Rudolph the red nose reindeer nose. Trying to get some work done. I already did three of my graphics. I pulled three quotes from my book that I made into posts that I'm going to be posting over on my social media. It's kind of like this. So I did this one and then I did this purpley one and then I did this one right here. So I just pulled quotes and some of the graphics from my book cover and just implemented them on these designs oh my god my nose is so red okay but we got to get work done also i did decide on the other illustration that i'm going to be drawing i already started drawing it in as this one right here i'm going to be you can't really see it I'm going to be coloring this illustration in and offering that as a little bundle with two other illustrations from my book. I'm going to be offering this one from my book and then also this one from my book. And I'm currently coloring in the other one that I'm also going to be doing. So I have that figured out. I am currently working on the coloring process for the last print that I'm going to be offering in the book set deal with my signed book that I'm going to be doing a little whole packaging ordeal. So I'm currently working on that. And then the other thing I do want to do later today is create a mailing list. I do have a mailing list. People can sign up to receive emails from me even though I haven't sent them in months. But I used to send them quite often whenever I had my shop I would send like little deals and stuff like that so I want to start building my email list because it just kind of social media isn't always the best outcome the algorithm is just horrible it's sometimes it picks up your post sometimes it doesn't show it to anyone on your community and it's just it's so annoying and frustrating so my publisher said that like having a good base of email subscribers would be great especially you know going forward for like book updates and stuff like that i already have one and i have it through like where i have my website but i don't really like that and my publisher mentioned that substack is another alternative so i'm going to be trying substack and see how that goes so that's what i have going on you guys but it's so hard right now because of my allergies it is so bad but we're pushing through because someone's got to finish this and that someone has to be the author so let's go. You guys, I'm alive. I made it to the next day after yesterday's horrible allergies. Horrible. 
if you see a little bit of smokiness coming from here it's just my humidifier i had to turn that on yesterday because i honestly should have turned this on as soon as allergy season started but i completely forgot about it i have it right next to my working area because <sighs> the allergies are real and i also have asthma so it doesn't it doesn't make things very well anyways i'm feeling a lot better today i do have this little cough going on but i'm okay a lot better than yesterday so yesterday i was able to finish most of the things that i wanted to do surprisingly even though i was having the worst allergy attack of Ever. but I was able to finish what I had planned yesterday there was only one thing that I didn't get to do which was do my little email campaign which that's fine I'll probably do it either today or tomorrow but I was able to finalize the three illustrations that I'm going to be adding to this little book box book deal that I'm gonna have going on so that is all done I'll pop them on here so you guys can see those I really love how they came out I feel like they're very cohesive I don't know which one I should do as an 8 by 11 and then the other two i'm going to do as five by seven so let me know down in the comments below which one should i enlarge and which one should i keep as small print i don't know i'm having a hard time choosing honestly i feel like this is where the gray area is for me where even though you're an author your job is to write in my case to write and illustrate the book i also have to have some expertise or not be an expert but also conduct some sort of book sales or to promote my book in some sort of way and one of the things I have severely disliked about previous jobs I've had was to be a sort of salesperson. Any job that I had where I was required to sell a product to someone and convince them like, hey, you need this product or you should want to buy this product. Oh my gosh, I was so horrible at those jobs and I just felt so uncomfortable having to convince someone to buy something. And I kinda am getting like a similar vibe right now where I'm just making all these things but in some way or another, I'm also telling folks like, hey, buy my book. Obviously, I know what makes my book so unique and so wonderful, but it's different when when you're, I guess, trying to, I don't know, not convince because I'm not really convincing anyone and I don't honestly want to convince anyone to buy my book. If it calls to you, if it sounds interesting, then folks are naturally just going to buy it if they can. But I just can't help but feel like that little, that person in that sales department once upon a time in my past where I was trying to sell someone something. I don't know. It is just not a space where I feel super confident in and I'm kind of getting the vibes right now from that. But it's okay. It's a learning experience. I've been having fun doing all these little marketing graphics and everything else that comes with showcasing your book outside of writing it, illustrating it. You know, there's other things. There's other hats that I need to wear and I am learning to be a part of those other hats or I'm learning to wear those other hats. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's been a fun learning experience and at least now I know what to expect going forward into other projects, other books, other books that I'm going to be writing. <laughs> With that being said friends, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really had fun taking you guys along behind the scenes of what goes down when you are sort of getting ready for book release. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video. That way I can make more videos like this. I do have some fun things coming up for my book release that I want to take you guys along. But let me know if you guys are actually interested in seeing that kind of content from me. Again, I'm going to leave some links down below if you're interested in learning about my book, uh, pre-ordering it, all the pre-order free goodie incentives that are available. Remember that you can create the life that you want, friend, because you so deserve it. I will be seeing you in a video very, very soon. Take care and bye for now.